Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty and luxury videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell next to it so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we are continuing our Zodiac series. It is the Pisces turn. If you are a Pisces, why don't you go down in the comments and say hi, let yourself be known. It's Pisces season, guys. So, this is my Pisces look. Now, I've been feeling these bold colours. You guys, with the water and air sides, have got it going on with all these colours. I'm doing these looks based on the colours, the colours for that zodiac. Goes without saying, guys, but obviously, if you are a Pisces, do not feel like you have to wear these colours or that because you're a Pisces, this is the kind of makeup you have to wear. Also, if you are not a Pisces, you can go ahead and wear this makeup. It's just makeup, guys. This is just my interpretation of Pisces. Now, quick facts. Pisces is a water sign. The symbol is a fish. Colours for Pisces are blues, seafoam greens, light greens, emeralds. Just a bit more, a bit of blue, but a bit more on the greener side. So that's why I went with a bit more greens on this makeup look. Pisces are known to be quite artistic, quite intuitive and very compassionate individuals. So without further ado, let's get into this look. Into So I've not got anything on my eyes. Actually, I've just put some powder on my lid because they're oily AF. I'm just going to do the same thing I did on this eye. So we're going into the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. I like this one because it's got all the light. You've got your all the bright colours. I'm taking, guess what, my MAC 217 brush. So I'm going into the teal shade just here. I just tap the excess off. Instead of starting in my crease like I usually do, we're going to actually start on my outer V. So I'm literally just going to place that shadow down. So I'm just going to so I'm holding it really close like a pencil. So I'm just placing the shadow down. And it's okay if you wing it out because we're doing our eyes first. We're gonna can we can if we go OTT with this with the winging out, we can just conceal it. So I'm patting the colour on my um outer V. So I'm just putting it there. So you can see where I've where I've placed it, and then I'm going to take the um, fluffy part of the brush, the point part, and I'm just going to, in circular motions, just blend it, circle, cir circular motions here and bring it inwards. So I'm just gonna blend, 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 and drag it in as well whilst I'm blending. So circular motions, just blending that, and you'll see that it will start to wing outwards. And then that edge, I'm just going to start blending, circular motions, and you'll see that I naturally start to wing it out anyway. All right, so now I'm going to go back into the pat into that teal shade. I'm just going to pick some more up. I'm just going to pat it just on that outer corner. So you don't need to pat it all the way up because when you blend, it extends. Like Wayne Goss says, what you blend extends. <laughs> so that's why I just pat it here and then blend outwards and blend in your circular motions. So we're just bringing it in. We're winging it out and bringing it in. And we're doing this because we want most of the intensity focused on the outer corner. But obviously we want some of that colour to come inwards as well. When, when I get down to my lid, I'm not actually blending it inwards too much. I'm just sort of blending it within the outer corner. So blend in circular motions. When I get to the top, almost to, to like where my brow bone, almost to where my brow bone is, that's when I'm bringing it inwards. And I'm just going to go in a tiny bit more and I just want to pat that on this part of the outer corner. And I'm just going to work on that V a little bit more, just loosely. So now... I'm going to take my Stila Shimmer and Glow. So this is just the colour base. This is in Vivid Jade. I want this sort of multi-dimensional green seafoam green kind of kind of effect. And I'm just using a concealer brush from Sigma. This is the F75. Got like a nice arrowhead so I can use the corners to be precise. You can just take like a MAC 242. You can take any flat shader brush that you use. So I just grab the product off the wand so I have a bit more control. The wand is good as well, but you have a lot more control with this. Just going to put this on the, the cavity, we've, the cavity, the gap we've left on our eyelid. We're just going to place it there. So I'm just going to put it, place it down in the center, most of it. And then we're going to just manipulate it onto our lid or spread it. I'm using really cool vocabulary today. 
just use the edges of the brush just let that help you and because you guys know I take it up so I'm taking a little bit further up than my natural crease and you can keep opening your eyes for this one opening and shutting your eyes so that you can gauge the um, how far up you want to take it going into the glitter and we're using our beloved MAC 242 it's just a flat shader brush any flat shader brush will do so I'm just taking a swipe whilst the liquid shadow is still wet and tacky we're just going to place we're just going to pat that down just paired together it's gonna it will give it in that nice dimension so that green will just peek through the glitter it's just really nice I think if you were to put this teal shadow by itself it would be a different look completely to that teal shade as much as you need just pat small motion so you're not getting too much fallout and you have the most control and see how close to the ferrule I'm holding it pretty much on the ferrule. I'm going to go back into the teal matte shade that we used earlier with our fluffy brush, our MAC 217, our domed blending brush. Just take a little bit and we're just going to tap that on just where the um, glitter is meeting the matte shadow in the corner, the outer V. We're just going to place it just between the two and that will help us blend. We're just going to do small circular motions just to blend the edges of that. Got the Zoeva 223, just my standard pencil brush. Now I'm going into my Natasha Denona palette. I'm just going to quickly do my lower lash line. Now you don't need this palette for the lower lash line because I'm just using the browns in it. So I'm using the shade Teak, it's just this camel brown, and we're just going to swipe that across our lower lash line. Just stop right where you get to that shadow, the dark shadow in the corner. Taking Log, the shade Log, which if you have the Sunset palette is Igneous. So I'm just taking this cool, it's just a cool toned dark brown that you have, whatever palette you have. I'm just taking that and putting that on the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm going back into that teal matte shade from the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. And I'm just going to take a bit of that and just go over that corner as well. So I'm just placing it in the outer corner and letting it meet the V that we've made here. And then any rem remnants, I'm just going to sweep across just so we have a light wash. I'm going to use that Zoeva brush again, the 223. And I'm going into the shade Aurora. It's this beautiful chroma crystal formula in the Natasha Denona gold palette now that this shadow you'll need the palette for so it's just a gorgeous blue I mean if you have any glitter like this I'm sure that's fine and I'm just going to wet so I've got it on my brush I'm just going to wet the brush and I'm just going to place that on the inner corner go into that shade again Aurora the chroma crystal and I'm just going to wash that on the center of my whole lid so I'm just going to place it just across, just along here. It's just going to give it a nice extra dimensional sort of shimmer. When I catch the light at certain angles, it will give some nice dimension. And then if you feel like you've done a little bit too much, you can just take that blending brush that you had before. I'm not picking up any new product and just blending that so we don't get too carried away. You a small, I'm just going to do a baby wing, a little small wing. I'm just using the Stila liquid liquid liner in the black the intense black i think it's called for my lashes i've just got the mecca max mysterious i'm just reusing a pair that i have in my hourglass caution mascara as well just to help blend the lashes together and do my lower lash line all right so i'm just going to do the rest of my face i'm just going to So that is how I got this look. Let me know in the comments below 
did you like it is it something you would wear whether you are a pisces or whether you're not a pisces i am trying wanting to do a q and a soon so if you have any questions you'd like to ask me go ahead and leave that in the comment section below if you enjoyed today's video hit the thumbs up and on your way out don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and ring that bell if you are so you don't miss out on any videos thank you so much guys for watching and i can't wait to see you back here again Oh, that hurts to not have done that. Right, mandatory water break. No, 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 no. That's not how we do our intro on this channel. Oh God. Do you think you can shut up for the whole entire? Okie dokie. Hi guys, welcome back to Lose Beauty Closet. No, that was terrible. Why is it when I start to talk with the microphone attached to my mouth, people in the, other, in the house start to raise their voices? Why? Do they know the microphone is on? I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. If... <laughs>